Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about um, how we show up in the different relationships in our lives. This this seems to be a thing, as you know, I kind of pull these themes from, you know, my clients I have over the week. And this one came up two or three times within this just this past week and has been building up lately this idea of how do we know the difference between like there's sometimes a a um a thought or a belief that in order to be authentic that we have to show up exactly the same way we want to in every situation and every domain and every relationship and every everything. So, so let me just say that again, the, the idea that we're challenging today is that if you are being truly authentic and if you are being truly, it, you know, of integrity and, and just being purely yourself, that means that you have to show up exactly the same way, regardless of the audience, the situation, um, the, the type of relationship and all that kind of stuff. And I have to tell you that since I've been on my personal journey of my incredible lack of confidence and self-worth and everything else in the younger part, you know, like over half of my life or whatever it was, right? And on this journey to where I am now, in the middle part of that growth, when I was starting to find myself and who I was without the influence of others and everything else, I absolutely had to go through this process of feeling this way and acting this way and being this way of look i'm just going to be who i am and the people that are attracted to that will resonate with me and i'll lose others and that's okay because that'll help weed out you know the relationships that aren't weren't healthy for me right so i also want to say there is value in thinking this way and it's a permanent situation right it's a phase of growth when we are growing from lack of self-esteem or lack of confidence to wanting pure self-esteem and pure confidence we oftentimes need to like overstep things before we found find our our sweet spot right and so this can be one of them of showing up exactly the same way regardless of who's in front of you and all that kind of stuff that was very fruitful for me it did help me learn so much about myself and it did help me learn so much about others in my life one of the things that I learned was how then there is a difference between how I show up as a mother versus a partner versus a friend and what type of friend and what circle of friends and, you know, a spiritual person or in a more temporary situation that it is totally okay to have different to pull out, you know, highlight, not totally get rid of anything and not totally like oh, shine something no matter where you are, but really start to pull out and highlight the parts of you that will best serve you and the relationship we're talking about. So for instance, you don't want to make, uh, you know, give an instruction to a child, you know, that you're, you know, your child, when you're trying to teach them responsibility or teach them about, you know, establishing healthy habits or things like that, those types of instructions and boundaries and repercussions aren't going to be exactly the same as you would if you were a manager at work or with an equal partner. Right. And so that's when we have to pause and look at with each individual relationship. Different domains will require different parts of our personalities to be highlighted or different communication skills to be highlighted. They also involve different values of ours, and that's how we can make sure that we are showing up authentically by using our own values. We are going to have different values in our relationship with our kids than we will with our coworkers, than we will with our partners, than we will with our friends. And so it's important to pause there and really take a look at like, what are the goals and values of each one of these relationships so that the behaviors in each one are in alignment with the goals and values of each. 
so we aren't getting in a rut of having the same exact using the same exact communication skills for all domains that we don't get in this rut of like speaking and showing up exactly the same way regardless of who's in front of us there does need to be some highlighting and low lighting of things in order to be authentically in alignment with your values and your goals for that particular relationship. So your goal with your partner is going to be different than your goal with your boss or the people on your team or for your child or for a friend. And so it's totally okay to kind of tweak and highlight your communication skills, how you're showing up, your actions and all those things to ensure that you are being authentic, even when you're showing up differently. Um, as always, let me know what you think of this. Let, and, and please, please, please send me your suggestions of what you would like me to talk about next. Um, fully enjoy your week and do take some time to look at what are the different values that you have for each individual relationship that you have and ask yourself, am I living, am I actively physically living those values in those different relationships in those different ways that they deserve? Let me know what you think and I'll see you next week. Bye.